What's up, everyone? Hey, Welcome everyone. Welcome back to Belhika and Jordan and Vlogs. Jordan Vlogs. This one's going to be about how we met on Bumble. Uh, yeah, I guess how we fell in love on Bumble. That's how, like, that's going to be the title of it. How we fell in love on Bumble. And yeah, this is a video to give each and every one of you single people out there hope. You will not be single forever. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. Perhaps. You could be single for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. The longest I've been single has been three years. Oh, actually 17 years. <laughs> that doesn't count. I know. Well, I've been, yeah. Three years then has been the longest time I've been single. And you, if there's hope for me, there's hope for you. We're just kidding. We're, oh, we're just kidding. We're really, really, really going to talk about our experience on a Bumble and, you know, how we met um, with both perspectives. Yeah, so I'm the more experienced Bumble user out of between us. Oh, I guess. How long did you have it for? Well, I used it in Florida also. But yeah, but like year-wise, I mean, because I've used it. How many years have I, like, yeah, been on how long ago did I start using it? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. 2017. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, you do have more experience on Bumble. Maybe like I... 2016. Okay, that's a little bit more experience. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. It was when I was in Miami. Oh, okay. So I started using Bumble in Oct. No, actually, it was September 2018. So it's about a year ago when I considered dating for reals for reals because I used to be on Tinder and I. It was more like to like. Um, my self-esteem yeah so it wasn't really like I was looking to date anyone it was just like oh I just wanted to talk to a lot of guys but, like I downloaded Bumble uh, I started talking to you on the June 2nd so I downloaded it on the first around like 10 p.m. because I was I felt like I was ready for something I was like you know what I'm over something else i think i'm ready i think this time i'm gonna do things differently so i just went on bumble and i just started like obviously created my profile linked to my instagram and everything and it was late at night and i remember i drank like three beers or so and then i started like <laughs> swiping <laughs> and but i wasn't just like don't like just swiping left and right um i was actually like reading their profile and all the guys i matched with in the morning all of them had they were all looking for a relationship it wasn't like i don't know except for jordan he was the only person i had matched with in the morning no. i woke up and i had matched with jordan in yeah the but morning. so he I was did, swiping at night too. I, I didn't know that it's <laughs> did, that said i don't know no it's because i think you made it a while ago yeah it was a it was probably it was a long time ago yeah you so. haven't updated your stuff other than you lived in california you know? yeah yeah so what i did was like he was the only person that had the i don't know and all the other guys had looking for a relationship and they were all like serious because even in their description they're like i'm looking for someone to you know to have a you know a serious relationship with so he wasn't he was the only one but he had a nice description he had um look living in california looking for a great girl to have a great time with so i was like it's not bad the other thing that was like a con for Jordan in like in my perspective was like I saw that he had like military information, Navy stuff, so I automatically assumed he was in Lamore in a way, but then I was like, what if he's just he's from Fresno but he um came back from being stationed somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know, for some reason I thought he was cute, so I, I just didn't really care about that. So I just messaged him, hey, because in Bumble, the girl has to send the message first, and I messaged hey to everyone I matched with, including Jordan. And then, what did you reply? <laughs> what I, I don't know what I said. You said like. You said like, like, what's up or hey, yeah, how's like, it going? Yeah, hey, how's it going? Or something. Probably did that. Yeah. That's like my normal. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Because most of the time they like they'll send it and then they'll never answer back. So I like. I mean, but what else can you say? Right. There's nothing to say. Well, I mean, usually some some people will go like starting to pick up lines and stuff no, but like true. me i hate texting like texting is the worst yeah so he said hey hey what's up and then i was like oh like something i don't know i forgot but then your reply was very like stale in comparison to other people and i was like he's boring or something 
or he's just like oh bored or something that's why he's using this thing um so i just gave it another chance and i was like uh what are you oh some i don't know some i think i asked you how's your day going and there's and then he said not bad or something and no I, I don't know i just didn't like your response but then i didn't give up and i was like oh that's pretty cool something and then you asked me something so i don't know what you asked me but it sounded better and then somehow we ended up talking about like what what you were doing and you said you were just back from alaska and i was like that sounds cool let me talk to him now i just wanted to find alaska information because i was bored no she stuck with me i just wanted to like ask you about like stuff like snow <laughs> i swear <laughs> i was on the ship yeah you're i know i didn't know that i just thought it was cool yeah but yeah i think i like well, what, what was never... like your perspective of me because i just thought you were like in the military and i was avoiding guys like him because if you go on bumble you'll match if you're looking for a military guy just go on bumble or hinge you'll find a lot of them i'm not saying serious but like if you just want to like have fun with military you can do that but i was like not trying to talk to guys in the military station on the more because that's weird there's a lot of them the majority is like what no a lot of people yeah and you didn't have lamore as your location you had two miles so i thought you were here visiting or something no yeah exactly ended up i live here yeah because i hate living next to other military people yeah so. like what did you like about my profile that made you like keep talking to me because i had a lot of information not a lot i had enough to make people run away. <laughs> just thought you, you were beautiful and i was like i want to get to know her exactly because most of the time when you like swipe on someone like you don't really you go at least from a guy's perspective you, go for their looks. you don't pay attention very much because you kind of just you keep swiping through yeah. obviously if you see someone uglier you're not attracted to you're not you're gonna swipe <laughs> the other way because you don't want that awkward uh yeah, you know. it's a match and i'm like Shit. yeah <laughs> but uh like you really you actually look at the person's profile when you match with them yeah. and then you're like oh should i respond kind of situation but once i because like she she said in her bio that she had a, a kid like you know, oh, well, mommy of one or something no i said mother to my own to my one child mother to her one child yeah I, I was like being very specific like i have one child yeah and i'm a mother mother to my one child so like that's enough to like if you don't want kids because i know that's a really important thing and i don't think it's wrong for a guy to not want a girl with kids like that's their decision um so i was like i'm gonna just put it so you know they know what i'm looking for I'm not hiding. I, I didn't have pictures of my kid because I think that's weird having pictures of your she kid didn't have any on your date, like on a dating site. No, there's no need for a picture of your kid. So you didn't know if I had a boy or a girl, right? No, mm -hmm. no. no. But then, like, basically, like, just think of Bumble as a uh, see someone on the street, and then, like, oh, you know, he looks he looks kind of cool. Like, yeah. he looks kind of handsome. Yeah. And you start talking to them, you're like. Oh, this is a terrible person. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that. You you run through the the motions. Yeah. Like you actually get to know someone after you've already matched. So it it's really based on looks. It's based on looks. If you're not looks. attracted to the person, yeah. you you will not like. You can swipe on ugly guys if you want to. I mean, you, I've done that before just to be there's, funny. <laughs> there's there's like things like that. Yeah. But then like when I actually got because I I had like had been talking to other girls too on on bumble and there was like girls that they had kids because i there's a lot of girls with kids around here it's really <laughs> i don't know oh really oh in, i don't know that <laughs> in miami yeah there is not uh, that many uh -huh. but um uh, <laughs> i didn't know that <laughs> yeah they would be they would have like uh like two or three kids mm -hmm. they're living at their grandma's house or they're at their mom's house and i'm like what can you do like you can't you don't work they're like yeah i don't work i'm just they were living really it bad. yeah from fresno yeah from fresno there was like a few girls i talked to and then i was like because they weren't looking for a relationship <laughs> what were they looking for i'm just looking for for fun they weren't looking for like a, oh my god well i mean i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah but then like once you start because like i give everyone a chance 
that yeah, I like, yeah. swipe with and then mm -hmm. talking to Belika and then she's like she actually you know she had her own place mm -hmm. and that was a big big thing for me being independent. Oh, you asked me right away like what do you do like do you go to school or work yeah or what do you or something like that and because I was like, like I work I'm not going to school right now but I'm gonna go back this semester I think that's what I told you because mm -hmm. I don't mind if someone like Mm -hmm. goes to school like okay like if they're going to school full-time and they live with their parents that's yeah. understandable but like if you aren't going to school and you're not working and you're just staying at and home and you have three kids and you yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> no i didn't know. i i couldn't do that i couldn't oh do that <laughs> so then she was telling me like and then some people asked me like well now they asked me like oh did you uh think her job was weird like when she was working in the fields and stuff and i'm like why is that weird? <laughs> it's a job. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the right. I didn't uh, tell you like that right away. No. I just told you, um, oh, I want, I'm majoring in social work, and you were like, oh, is that what you're doing, like a job right now, something related to the major? And I was like, no, I work for agriculture, and that was it. Yeah. Because I don't have to give him all the information. That's kind of weird, you know, because I don't know him that well. I, well, I didn't know him. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't yeah. care what job she had as long as like someone's working yeah and what was didn't. funny is that i like the people that i kind of liked more like i vibed more with like through talking on the chat right there it was people who drank coffee and red books because I, I i wasn't matching with like weirdos or anything i was actually met like with people who were like decent you know and mm -hmm. it was all like after that it was like oh i like their how they look they're decent they're nice but now like how do we vibe because that's another important thing and I really liked like the way we um, communicated through that first thing so yeah but I will give like a little tip don't if you're like messaging someone mm -hmm. some people don't like texting I know a lot of girls like you guys love texting I get it some guys we hate it mm -hmm. and like if you just get on if you just take time to like talk to someone on the phone you don't have, you don't have to give them your phone number you can use like did we use our phone numbers? Yeah, yeah we used I our gave phone you numbers. my phone number. Yeah. But then in that case, like if a person person turns out to be a weirdo, we just block it. Yeah. But what happened was that he told me like we could talk on the phone also. I and I didn't really read it because I was like busy, and I heard I was at work actually, and I just read it and I was like I just sent him my number. Yeah. Yeah. As long as like because you can kind of get like your comfort level with someone mm -hmm. over the text and. Yeah, he seemed really um, cool. Yeah, I was talking about the preschool graduate my daughter's preschool promotion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i wasn't gonna go to work i was gonna miss work for that yeah yeah so we talked on the phone that same night though a long time like three hours <laughs> and i had work the next mm -hmm. morning mm -hmm. and uh because she didn't have to wake up no I early and uh because i had to my pre um, my daughter's preschool promotion what time? I think I stayed up with you until like, what, 1 or 2 a.m.? Yeah, 2 a.m. And I had to be up at 5. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I didn't tell her because I didn't want to get off the phone. No, you didn't tell me. No. You gotta, you just got to make sure because the way you talk to someone on the phone, it's going to be like the same thing in person, basically. Yeah. Like, especially if you get on a video call and make sure the person's real. Yeah. So the first <laughs> night, right, that we talked on the phone, we talked for three hours, but I gave you my phone number. It was like three days after we started talking on Bumble. Then I gave you my phone number, we talked, um, and then I think it was the next day that we video called. We actually video called, and uh, you told me on the phone something about Duo, and I downloaded it. Because <laughs> I thought he was interesting. He sounded really interesting and nice and funny, so I was like, huh. Ah. And, that, and if I, I can talk for three hours to someone, I was like, oh, you know, it's fun. Like, I wasn't expecting anything from you in the first place. I was just expecting, like, uh, like I don't mind having friends either. Because mm -hmm. I personally have, like, met a lot of people. And I'm, I don't, I'm, like, I'm not, like, close friends with them. But I can have, like, a really, like, long conversation. Be like, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, catch you. See you, I don't know, six months, you know, or talk to you, something. So um, I wasn't expecting anything from him. I wasn't being like, oh, like, I didn't sound desperate, did I? No. No, I was like, Whoa, I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> it was a lot of things. Yeah. And then, I think it was literally the day after that we met for the first time. Cause we, no, we met. I mean, we, we met. We video called that night, and then we met Sunday. No, we didn't. We, we kept on. We video called on Friday. We called. No, it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we video called on Friday, but we didn't meet. We met Saturday. Not Saturday. No, Sunday. So it was like a day. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah. it was pretty quick because um, make sure you video call. Yeah. If that person's being weird about doing a video call. And I video called you with no makeup on. And no makeup, yeah. Yeah, I, well, I, not that I was planning because it was like late. It was a late video call. So I had no makeup on and I, I, it's not like I'm like, oh my God, I'm scared of my face. I was like, oh, it's just a video call. I'm not expecting him to fall in love with me or anything. <laughs> yeah, be, be careful. Um, We're getting make back. sure you video call. Mm -hmm. Pictures are deceivable. Yeah. If they look old, the pictures look older, it's probably because they are. Mm -hmm. But seriously, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially like in the fields, I didn't want anyone from there at all because I know what I liked. And I, I don't know, like, if this offends people, but I know what I wanted. And like, all the people that I matched with, because I've noticed, like, I attract white guys. And I was like, well, I'm attracted to white guys too. I just didn't know they liked me back in the past. <laughs> so I literally match with nothing but white dudes. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with liking a certain like ethnicity. Like I like white guys. Yeah. I don't think like Mexicans are ugly. I just don't, I'm not like I don't know. I just don't incline to them. Yeah. Like I don't incline to Asians either. So I like tall white guys. But then like me and Bill, he can move kind of like I am fast either. because <laughs> we knew what we wanted. So. Yeah, we both know we were both on the same page. Like we're very we, mature. Yeah. When we age. met for the first time, we like agreed on a lot of stuff. Yeah, and it wasn't like a fake agreement because me and her are like, we would say something if we didn't agree on it. Mm -hmm. And we didn't really disagree on anything. No, I don't think we disagree on anything. No. No, I don't think so. We 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 enjoy a lot of the same stuff, mm -hmm. and like traveling kind of places, like where we want to go. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah, we sh we share a lot of stuff in common. We did share a lot. Weirdly. Yeah, it was pretty scary. <laughs> I was like, because she, I was probably thinking like, oh, she's probably just thinking I'm agreeing with her. And yeah, he's probably thinking yeah, like, oh, I thought he's you probably were thinking I'm just agreeing. Yeah. But it, everything like, we have like, so when I'm like, it's kind of hard to read books when we're here. Oh yeah. Just because like, because <laughs> I'd rather spend like time with you because that's our, that's how we bond when I'm away. Yeah. So it's like something we can do together. Mm -hmm. But honestly, if you, uh, Tinder is a whole different ball game. Don't that. <laughs> if you're looking for that, I mean, you can find that on Bumble, too. Uh, yeah, it's, it's much decenter, though. Like, on Tinder, they might not take you out to eat. If you want to go eat... <laughs> they might not have a car. So yeah, on Tinder. Like, like, it's different. Okay, like, like, like even if you're just looking for hookups, I'm just, I just swear to God. Like, you can go on Tinder. You'll get a hookup, but you'll get, probably get a guy with no car or a shitty job. Like, if you want a nice hookup, at least, or, like, a good friends with benefits that will, like, give you benefits, Go to Bumble or Hinge. Don't go to Tinder or Plenty of Fish. Ooh, Plenty of Fish. Or OK Cupid. Or, there's like no. so many. <laughs> Honestly, you're just gonna have to test it out. You're gonna have to test it. I've got like I don't have bad experiences on Bumble. Like, not really. I got some bad ones. No, I always get guys that either want to like marry me. <laughs> I'm like. Huh. <laughs> it's way different from a guy's perspective on Bumble than it is for a girl's perspective. It's way different, yeah. It's so much different because... I've always had good responses though. Well, for you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> let's cut it there because <laughs> we've been talking way too yeah. long about... But honestly, like, <laughs> without Bumble, I wouldn't have Bella Ica. No. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I downloaded it at the right time. Because yeah. if I had, like, waited, I don't know, like, three more, like, two more weeks, it would have been over. Because I had just gotten back from, uh, from the ship. I, we were and out for you were month, about to leave and i was about to leave again so like i we found each other and then i th think we we're both like a little bit like oh if it if he stays in contact or she stays in yeah, contact i really yeah, like we'll keep them. it going i really like thank you all so much for, for watching this video for all the subscribers out there you guys are amazing like it ah it's awesome <laughs> It is awesome, and thank you so oh much God. for 3,000 subscribers. We just reached that goal today. 3, and thank you so much for liking our previous video. And thank you so much for subscribing. See you on the next video. Heck yes. Bye. Bye.